Florida Swim Network here with Jason Tillotson at the Orlando Grand Prix. Just swam a great race. Let's talk about that, and then let's talk about your other races. All right. Yeah, I was uh, 212 in CYM. was about a second off my best time. Uh, I was actually on pace with my best time, the first 100, and then I guess just got a little tired at the end. So, so what about your other races this weekend? You had a pretty busy program, right? Yeah, I swam six races, uh, both IMs, both breaststrokes, the 200 back and the 200 fly. Uh, I did well. I wound up going a best, actually, um, in the 200 fly, which is good. Made finals in, like, I think four out of the six, so it was a good in-season meet. And I love these Grand Prix meets. They're, I think they're awesome, so... You know, even though it's a three-day meet, three long days, um, you, you and I talked yesterday about nutrition. What happened yesterday? Well, I just think that I kind of didn't pay attention, didn't stay on top of it. Um, I mean, I ate a lot in between sessions, but that's, sometimes it's not always enough. you got to refuel, get some, like, fruit snacks. like Every those. couple hours. Yeah, yeah. And I, uh, I didn't realize until after, actually probably during the last 50 of my tuner fly, I was like, oh, man. I should have ate something or I should have done something because, I mean, I had a great lunch, but I didn't really snack in between. And that's, I think, uh, an important part of swimming fast that some swimmers forget. Is so what do you eat and then what do you stay away from during a meet? Uh, I usually actually have a burger or a steak in between each session. I used to do that. Yeah. And, um, Making double cheeseburger. Yeah, right. Well, I'm not a big baking guy, but yeah. Uh, I try and stay away from, like, real greasy stuff, like no fast food, really. Um, just try and sit down and have like a nice meal and a lot of green food. I think that helps a lot. Right, right. Yeah. All right. So this, this summer, this spring we have JOs mm -hmm. and, and you want to step in there cause it's yeah. JOs 14 and unders. You're, you're above that. Now you want to commentate a little bit. Yeah. So you ready? ready? All right. All right. Well, we're here with uh, Joe Hour here at this Orlando Grand Prix. We just have Chloe Miller up there. From Bull School Sharks in the in the D final, looks like we've got Harley uh, Lopez, Lopez Miro from the Bull School Sharks and Abby Duncan from Clearwater. We're gonna see what they're gonna do in the C final. That's Looking awesome. great. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, no problem. So you guys can listen to him at Jo's. Yep. Anyway, so Valentine's Day yesterday. Yep. What do we got? We got a Valentine, or what are we doing over here? Yeah, I'm, I've actually uh, I've been dating this wonderful, wonderful lady for about a year and two months, uh, and she she's actually in Disney right now, and that's actually where I'm going after this. I'm done. So, uh, but I uh, did like video blogs and tried to keep her updated with how I was doing here. So I sent her one of those on Valentine's Day. So, all right, what is your tip? This is the last thing, but what is the tip that you focus on in practice that keeps you on your game? Probably a uh, technique more than anything. Um, just stay, trying to go as fast as I possibly can without losing my stroke. Because I feel like you can like pound and pound as much as you want, but if you don't have good technique in the long run, you're not going to be, you know, that good. So you got to maintain good, real good technique while going as fast as you can. Well said. Well said. Well, thanks, Jason, and uh, awesome. All right, thanks. Appreciate it.